All right, Shalom, I'm out there. Uh, first and foremost, before I start, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Akakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles, a great millstone who taught me this word. Wa Shalom, I'm to all you brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity. All right, um, as you brothers can see, the title of this lesson is going to be um, The Lord Will Be With You in a Time of Trouble. Um, going into um, a dream that I had, you know, testimony, testimony type uh, a video, you know, um, uh, this past week, um, last week on Friday, the Lord gave me a dream and um, Lord willing, uh, you know, I wanted to share with you brothers and Lord willing, it may be a, a faith booster unto all you brothers out there, man, you know, that the Lord is going to be with us, all right, in a, in a time of trouble, you know. So, um, you know, just getting straight into it, um, this past Friday, um, you know, after, after work or whatever, um, I laid down and took a nap and, um, that's when the Lord gave me a dream of this, uh, this Jake breaking into my house, breaking into my home. You know, he was, uh, coming, coming in through, uh, my kitchen window, you know, um, in uh, real life, I don't have a kitchen window, but in the dream, I had I had a kitchen window. You know what I mean? And he was uh, breaking in, you know. And I and I told my uh, my woman, you know, I said, "Hey, go get my gun." You know, <laughs> well, I don't even have a gun, you know. But in the dream, I did, you know. And then, um, you know, I grabbed it, whatever, and I, and I told her, "Hey, this is it right here." You know, you know, and I, I sent up a prayer to Yahweh Shimei Shai, you know, to protect me, you know. So I go back in the dream, you know, uh, go back to the kitchen window and I start tussling with this dude. You know what I mean? We start tussling and then um, I woke up, you know, and um, woke up heart pounding like, man, that, that dream seemed real as hell, you know. So I get up and I tell my woman about the dream and um, she like, dang, that's crazy, you know. So about five to ten minutes later, I get a knock on my door. You know, and it was kind of like a, you know, not a regular knock. It was kind of like a ghetto knock, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Knock on my door. And then my woman goes to open the door. And I'm, you know, and I'm already in the spirit because I just had this dream. I said, wait a minute. You know, like real loud. I, don't, I was like, don't open that. See see who it is first. You know? And she, she was like, okay. And then she looked through the, the peephole. And she was like, it's some black guy. I was like, I was like. Hold on, let me see, you know, so I, I get up and then um, I look through the peephole, you know, it's this Jake, you know, right there, man. Look like he up to no good, man, you know. So after he knocked on the door, he, he rung the doorbell and I'm just watching him through the peephole, you know. And then he goes, uh, you know, to my neighbor's door, you know, and he does the same thing, you know, knocking on Nate's door, you know, looking around, being all suspicious type type of shit. And, um, you know what I'm saying? And then, uh, long story short, you know, they end up getting that dude, uh, later on in the day, uh, in my apartment building, you know, but trying to break in to, uh, people's homes, you know what I'm saying? They end up, they end up getting this guy, you know what I'm saying? And I told my woman, I was like, you know, I had that dream, uh, right before that happened because you were going to open the door, you know? And she was like, you know what? You're right. I probably would have opened the door. You know, so the Lord gave me that dream, you know what I'm saying, to, to protect me for some danger that was about to come, you know, and I was telling the brothers um, after the camp, you know what I'm saying, you know, and brothers like, wow, man, you know, that, the Lord is really uh, with us, man, you know, and that's why I want to bring this testimony out unto you brothers, man, you know, the Lord is going to be with us in a time of trouble, you know, um, the Lord had me wake up in the nick of time, you know, of this guy who knows he would, who what he had on him, you know what I'm saying? Uh, or who he had with him, you know what I mean? Because as I was explaining this dream to the brothers, you know, they told me like, yeah, bro, I didn't see like a certain uh, scenarios like that happen on the ring camera, you know? How a woman opened the door, you know, this dude, he really don't have no business. You know, next thing you know, three dudes, you know, ram into the apartment, you know what I'm saying? It was just like a setup to get you to open the door. You know what I'm saying? So it could have been a situation like that, you know? 
but the Lord gave me a dream about it and then it ended up happening. You know what I'm saying? Right after, you know? So, you know, the, the what I got from it is the Lord is going to be with us, man, in a time of danger, man, you know? In, in, in Jacob's trouble, you know what I'm saying? When when things get uh, dangerous and hectic, the Lord is going to be with his men, man, you know? So, you know, Lord willing, I'm going to go through a couple of scriptures, um, uh, you know what I'm saying, just to back up the dream, you know what I'm saying? This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 30. I'm going to start with Jeremiah 30 and um, 4. It says, uh, and these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling. It's like we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear and not peace. Ask ye now and see whether doth a man travail with child. Wherefore do I see with every, wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins? As a woman in travail, and all faces are turned to paleness. Alas, for that day is great, for that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Yeah, man, you know, going through all what uh, Jeremiah was seeing right here. Uh, a man, does a man travail with child? No, you know, meaning that that's how bad it's going to be out here, though, man. You know, it's going to be it's going to be real bad. All faces turn to paleness, meaning they see no hope. You know, this is all going into the Jacob's trouble. You know, it says, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. Even that it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. All right. And that's the point that he is talking about the elect, you know. So so all all the, uh, you know, the destruction that's coming, man, it's, it's not for us, man. This is, you know, that's for the wicked, man. You know, the Lord is going to deliver us, you know, out of our uh Situations of danger, man. You know, let's get this in uh second address chapter um 16, verse uh, I start at uh verse 74. You know, we was going to, we was going into this, you know, at the camp too on Saturday. You know, this was our last scripture scriptures that we brought out. You know, second address 16 and 74. It says, Hear, O my beloved, saith the Lord, behold. The days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Right. You know, and, and we got to uh, believe that, man. The Lord is going to make all type of things happen for us, brothers, man. You know, we, you know, we may see it before it happened. The Lord may show us, you know what I'm saying? We just got to be in the spirit to, to recognize it, man. You know, it says here, oh, my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. For Yahweh Bashimi Shai is your guide, you know? The Lord is our guide, man. All right, in, the, in these times, man. And he's going to continue to, to guide us, man, you know? In that in that dream, you know, that I that I share with brothers, man, brothers, hey, bro, you gotta do a testimony video on that, you know, because that's that's a, a faith booster, man. You know? I was like, hey, calm, calm, bro. Hey, for real, man, because you know, that's just one example of how the Lord is, is dealing with us, man, you know. It says, uh, be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the heavenly father is your guide and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord power. Let not your sins weigh you down and let not, let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Yeah, man. So he, he is the guide of them. All right. Basically who keep his word, man. All right. Who, who, um, who constantly trusting in him, man, you know? I have one more uh, scripture written down. You know, this is uh, the book of Second Peter, chapter two, um, and I start at uh, I start at verse uh, verse seven. You know, just dealing with a uh, lot. You know, and how how he was delivered. You know. Um, Second Peter chapter two, verse seven, it says, and delivered just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked for that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations. You see, the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly or the elect out of temptations, you know, out of situations of danger, man, you know, yeah, man. That dream, it was amazing. I was tripping out, man. You know how, 
you know, I had a dream about somebody breaking into my shit and then lo and behold, you know what I'm saying? That that was the intentions of that dude, man, you know, to get into the house, you know? And who who knows what he had on him, man? He could have had a pistol on him and all that, you know? And then now my woman, you know, now she's on a higher level now, you know? She know not to just answer the door and just, you know, be so damn naive, you know what I'm saying? Because these, these jakes out here ain't right, man, you know what I'm saying? They, they, uh, you know, uh, fucking, uh, got evil intentions or right, to do harm to you, you know what I'm saying? But the Lord ain't going to allow that. All right. Uh, you know, if you, you trusting in him, you know, doing the right thing. Right. So it says the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. You know, so the Lord knoweth how to deliver us out of these uh, situations, out of these temptations, these dangerous, uh, you know, situations, man, you know? So, yeah, brothers, you know, that was pretty much, um, you know, the lesson, you know, the dream that I had, you know, I just wanted to bring that out as a testimony, you know what I'm saying? The Lord will be with us, brothers, in a time of trouble, man, you know? And he's going he's gonna to show us, man, with, with miraculous things, you know? You know, as they say, because that, that word miracle, you know, it means an act of God, you know, act of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah. And he's going to show us, man, you know, in all different type of ways that we can't really explain, but they just happen. You know what I mean? And we safe at the end of the day, you know? So, hey, Lord willing, this um, this lesson, this testimony was edifying unto you brothers out there. Hey, you know, stay prayed up. Um, you know what I'm saying? Keep uh, Keep the faith. You know what I'm saying? And um, Lord willing, until next time, brothers. Hey, Yah Bashim Hashem, Rock a Thumb. All praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakak, Wadash. Dev artists of the apostles that great millstone no taught me this word. Wa Shalom to all you brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity. Stay up, brothers. Shalom.